Hello, in this tutorial we will see how to use one plugin for the protection of your website. It is called Hide My WP, which stands for WordPress. And you can download this plugin from Cat Canyon and currently it is $20. You can use it for only one website, so these $20 are for one website. But I would say that this plugin is a must have because you have to and be sure that your WordPress site is protected and the author claims that there's no free or premium alternative so let's see the plugin in action and see what this plugin can do alright so I will use it for this website and we can see that under the settings there's a new submenu called hide my WP and here are the menus here. We have start, general settings and permalinks and URLs settings. This plugin comes with uh, very nice documentation and I would highly suggest to read it very very careful because this plugin uh, is not an easy one so you will need to know all the stuff uh, which is described here. Okay, so let's set up the plugin. Currently, uh, you will need to put the purchase code and you can get it from the download page of the plugin. Under the download, you will see that there's license certificate and the code will be around here. You must put it in your website, in your dashboard, in order for this plugin to work well. Okay. You have the import options here where you can select the privacy of your website. You can select medium privacy, uh, medium privacy quick mode and high privacy less compatibility. All right. Once you've selected one of these options, you will see that there are some stuff which will be changed uh, when it comes to the security of your WordPress site. You can also export all the settings. You can use the debug report and of course you can spread it if you'd like. There's a quick fix, uh, quick fix guide. You must uh, have writable permissions for HTTP access file and let's check whether we have these permissions. If we click on the HTTP access file we must have 644 as a permission for our um, HTTP access file. Alright, so let's save the settings and the, the plugin will change some stuff inside so now it will work properly. Now we will click on general settings and see what's inside. Alright, so we have the option to change the default a 404 page or we can select a custom one. I would leave the default one. We can also choose the role of trusted users and by default administrator is trusted by default. Okay, We can select the replace mode. You can select the partial quick or the full page and here's one of the main uh, advantages of this excellent plugin it will hide your WP login and WP admin from accessing from another place. Uh, before installing this plugin, everybody can type the URL of your website and then uh, type slash WP admin and everybody could see the admin uh, page of your website. So this plugin will change the stuff so we will need to uh, to select and type a new admin login key. Uh, the default one is one two three four. So I would highly suggest to change this stuff to uh, something else. For example, you can type carpet. In my case, this is a carpet cleaning site. So the next time we will need to log in, we will type your our URL then WP login dot PHP question mark hide my WP and the admin login key so you will need to remember all the stuff and type it 
in additional text file or you can bookmark it so you don't forget how to log into your website. Okay, you can also check the Spy Notify button. So it will the plugin will send an email to site admin whenever someone is visiting the 404 page. I'm not using this option. And you can customize HTTP access file. Okay, and here we have some other options. We can remove auto-generated feeds from header. We can remove other header met methods like short link, previous and next links. It will speed up your site as well. You can hide the admin bar for interested users. Let's check this one. And you can remove the just another WordPress block from your feed. This section, uh, this is very nice to be checked as well. You can remove the version of uh, your scripts, your plugins and WordPress. Let's check this again. And you can hide license, WP includes, uh, from your website. Okay, you can also disable canonical redirect. This is requiring when you want to use URL queries. And if you have Yoast SEO WP plugin, it will do the same job. So I will leave this unchecked. Okay, so you can also clean up your body classes, post classes, menu classes. You can leave this as default. And also you can change the email sender name. Uh, I've already changed the, changed the stuff because um, if you if uh, the WordPress site is sending you an email, WordPress will send an email with its own name. So you should change this to something meaningful. For example, in my case, I will change it to carpet cleaning. Carpet Cleaners London. Okay, and you can set up the send email sender address. All right, so let's save the settings. And let's see, yes, now we have new URL where we could reach the admin area of our website. So let's see whether it's working. Let's log out. And now let's type WP admin. So we have page not found. All right, so let's select our new address and as you can see here's the login page for our website all right so let's continue with our work let's go to hide my WP and if you go to permalinks and URLs there's there are a lot of new stuff here. I would highly suggest to read the documentation so you will know how to set up all this properly. You can uh, minify the CSS and JavaScript files. Okay, You can also disable the minify option. If you enable it, your site will load faster. You can also disable or enable the plugin rename. I would uh, leave this as disable plugin rename because your plugins can uh, have some conflicts and I would suggest these to be left as default enable authors URL enable feeds URL enable posts URL enable pages URL and enable categories and tags URL here you have some additional options as well you can redirect all search queries to permalinks you can disable the archive queries. Let's check this one. You can replace WP nonce in URL and so on. So uh, to know exactly what you're doing, again, read the documentation file very carefully. And visibly, there's nothing changed on our website, but now it is protected and secured. 
All right, so let's see what's inside the HTT access file. Here it is. And here are some changes made by uh, this excellent plugin. All right, so go to the page of the plugin, read more about it. As you can see, uh, this item was featured on Code Canyon, and there are more than 1,000 purchases and 365 comments. So you can read them as well and see uh, that the support is also great. Okay, so if you'd like to learn more about WordPress, Joomla, web design or search engine optimization, you can visit our website tutorial7.com and thank you for watching this tutorial.